Our first witness is Mr. Steve Larson, who is Director of the Centers for Consumer Information and Insurance Oversight, or the CCHIO, with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Prior to his current position, Mr. Larson served as Director of the Division of Insurance Oversight at, at CCHIO. Welcome, Mr. Larson. You will have five minutes to present your testimony. Thank you. Uh, good morning, uh, Chairwoman and Elmer's Ranking Member Richmond and members of the subcommittee. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to discuss how the Affordable Care Act is improving the affordability, the accessibility, and the quality of health insurance available to small businesses and their employees. Providing and maintaining health insurance coverage for employees has been a challenge for small businesses for many years. Uh, states have struggled for decades, really, to improve their small group health insurance market. And I know this from uh, my many years of experience as insurance commissioner in the state of Maryland. Small businesses pay significantly more than large firms for the same health insurance policy. Some estimates put that at about 18 percent more. There are a number of reasons for this. Small businesses lack the purchasing power that large employers have. Administrative costs for insurers in handling small businesses are much higher than for large businesses. Small businesses often don't have the human resources staff to navigate through the difficult process of choosing between health plans. Uh, prices for insurance for small businesses can be more volatile due to the smaller risk pool compared to large businesses. And employees in small businesses are subject to medical writing in many medical underwriting in many states. And so this means that the rates that small businesses uh, our charge can spike if just a single employee becomes very ill. The Affordable Care Act addresses these challenges in the market and helps close the gap between small and large businesses' ability to offer health insurance to their employees. First, starting in 2014, small businesses will be able to reduce administrative costs and pool their buying power by purchasing insurance through the exchanges. The exchanges are state-based competitive marketplaces for buying private health insurance. Small businesses will be able to buy health insurance through a, a part of the exchange called the, the shop. Shops will give small businesses and their employees many of the advantages of large employers that large employers have today, such as more choice, more competition, and more clout in the marketplace. These shop exchanges are a one-stop shop where small businesses and their employees will be able to easily compare health plans get answers to questions, and then enroll in high-quality health plans that meet their needs. Health plans that participate in the state exchanges will compete for business on the basis of price and quality. And this type of market competition has the power to Im drive improvement in both plan quality and affordability. We recently issued draft regulations, which will provide states the flexibility to provide small employers with a range of options on how the employers offer uh, coverage to their employees. For example, a small business participating in the shop exchange may choose a level of coverage and a level of contribution toward that coverage, and then employees will then choose among the health plans available on the exchange within that level of coverage offered by their employer. Or employers may provide to their employees a broader range of options, such as shopping for any level of coverage among competing health plans. Under the proposed regulations, the employer would write a single check to the shop, reducing administrative burdens. The shop, as a premium aggregator, would handle the administrative functions that can burden the small business owner. Shops will simplify the employee decision-making process for providing side-by-side -side comparisons of health plans' benefits, premiums, and cost sharing. Not only will the Affordable Care Act benefit small employers by enabling them to pool their buying power, it will also protect them from premium spikes caused by an employee's illness. Beginning in 2014, the ACA prohibits new health plans from rating on the basis of health status or claims history. In addition, the law limits how much insurers can increase rates based on employees' ages. These new rating limitations will help make small businesses' health insurance rates fairer, more predictable, and easier to understand. In addition, Limits on health plans' medical loss ratios will also save small, business, small businesses money as insurers that fail to meet the MLR standard will provide rebates. Finally, the law established a small business tax credit that's making health coverage more affordable for small businesses. The tax credit is designed to encourage both small businesses 
and tax-exempt organizations to offer health insurance coverage to their employees for the first time or to maintain coverage that they already offer. Small businesses are already benefiting from the Affordable Care Act, and those benefits will expand dramatically as the ACA continues to take effect. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to discuss the Affordable Care Act's critical provisions to support small businesses' ability to offer health insurance to their employees.